Good evening. My name is Renee Edge, and tonight we are going to talk a little bit about nourishing anxiety. Oftentimes, when we are in a state of physical or mental distress, we turn to food as a source of comfort. And there are things that you can put in your body that are going to help you during that stressful time, and there are things that you can put in your body that are actually going to do more harm than good during that stressful time. So tonight we're going to talk a little bit about the ways in which you would want to nourish yourself if you are currently experiencing anxiety or if you are a person who has a history of anxiety. So let's talk a little bit about the basics of anxiety. Up to one third of the population suffers from anxiety, which is often undiagnosed and untreated. 50% of people respond with medication and psychotherapy, but only 25% are going to see a complete resolution of their symptoms with medication and psychotherapy. Now the gut microbiota, that means your gut bacteria, of those people with generalized anxiety disorder is both sparser and less diverse than the gut bacteria um, of other people, and they often have an overgrowth of bad bacteria. So what we're going to talk about is a little bit about the foods that you're going to want to avoid. Those foods include anything with added sugar, artificial sweeteners, gluten, alcohol, and caffeine. And we're going to talk a little bit about more about why that is. So you're going to want to avoid things with added sugar because diets high in carbohydrates cause both obesity and anxiety. Unhealthy diets, like the standard American diet, you know, thinking fast foods and soft drinks, tend to promote weight gain and eventually obesity. Obesity is associated with being more anxious with one study finding that obese people have a 25% increased chance of suffering from mood and anxiety disorders. The chronic stress of anxiety can also add to visceral fat, which is your fat that's kind of stored on your stomach. Artificial sweeteners is the next one to avoid. They add actually no nutritional value and they can cause an increase in the bad gut bacteria, thus negatively affecting your mood and your anxiety levels. Sweeteners like aspartamine have been directly linked to anxiety and research studies have shown that those should be avoided. So that would be things that are your diet soft drinks or your no sugar products that are sweetened with chemical sweeteners. The next up on the list is gluten. Research studies have shown with, that people with celiac disease have much less anxiety after a year of being on a gluten-free diet. Now, you're probably thinking, well, I don't have celiac disease. Why would that apply to me? You have to remember, celiac disease can be silent and have absolutely no symptoms at all. And if you have a version of celiac disease or you have gluten sensitivity, that can actually be triggering your anxiety without you showing any digestive effects at all. So it's something to think about. You can even do a quick two-day trial, three-day trial for yourself by pulling gluten out of your diet um, and seeing how that might impact how you are feeling at this point in time with your anxiety levels. Next one on the list is alcohol. People who get stressed often think that alcohol is going to help them relax. However, they wake up the next morning and they feel guilty and they're jittery and they're jumping out of their skin. And all of those are kind of symptoms of mild to moderate alcohol withdrawal. People who are anxious tend to sleep more poorly if they drink alcohol regularly. And people who are anxious in social situations tend to self-medicate with alcohol. And they may feel that that alcohol helps them to socialize. However, social anxiety more than quadruples the risk of developing an alcohol use disorder. So alcohol is definitely something that you should avoid or limit yourself to one drink a day. Caffeine is another one that's on the list of things to avoid if you have anxiety. Caffeine really overstimulates areas of the brain that process threat. And to make things worse, at the same time, caffeine shuts down a brain region that typically helps you regulate your anxiety. So now you've put something in that's amping up your feeling of threat, and it's shut down the part that helps you to regulate in that feeling of threat. So less than 100 milligrams of caffeine per day is not likely to impact your anxiety. 100 to 400 is potential, and greater than 400 is definitely 
going to have an impact on anxiety. Now, just for a point of reference, a Starbucks venti uh, coffee has 476 grams of caffeine. So it's something that you, sorry, 476 milligrams of caffeine. Um, so it's definitely something that you want to think about in that regard. So let's talk now about foods that you would want to add into your diet and why. So we're going to talk first about fiber. Fiber really helps that gut bacteria thrive, and it lowers anxiety symptoms by increasing the good bacteria and activating pathways and neural signaling. It aids in stabilizing blood sugar spikes, decreases inflammation in the body and the brain. So foods high in fiber would be things like pears, strawberries, avocados, apples, raspberries, bananas, legumes, or any kind of beans, oats, and popcorn. Another group of foods that you're going to want to add in are those that are high in omega-3s. Omega-3s help to normalize the dopamine levels in the body and help to reg regulate the amygdala. Serotonin is the chemical that's responsible for regulating our moods, and therefore that affects our anxiety levels. If cell main membranes do not get enough omega-3s, serotonin is blocked. So foods high in omega-3s include cold water fish such as mackerel, salmon, herring, sardines, anchovies, as well as flax seeds, chia seeds, walnuts, soybeans, meat and dairy from grass-fed animals, not traditionally commercially farmed animals, but grass-fed animals, um, cauliflower, kale, and Brussels sprouts. Next up would be magnesium. Magnesium blocks the activity of the more stimulating neurotransmitters and binds to the calming receptors, resulting in a more peaceful resting state. It also helps to regulate the release of stress hormones like cortisol and acts like a break on your nervous system. Foods high in magnesium include dark chocolate, avocados, nuts, legumes, tofu, seeds, bananas, and leafy greens. So, if you're thinking about what you could do to help yourself with that anxiety, don't go out and grab that bag of chips or that candy bar. Grab yourself a banana. That banana is going to give you that fiber that you need and also that magnesium. Again, if you have any questions about how you can nourish your body in order to best support you as you are working through some struggles, or if this has resonated with you in any way, do not hesitate to reach out and ask. Thank you so much for listening in today.